everybody. So really quickly, uh, on my lunch break, I wanted to touch on a couple things that happened this weekend and the fallout from this morning. Um, I, I've got to do a clarification for Carla Porter, and I wanted to put it in here. But first, we tried to do a live TV show from our building in the new studio in our building uh, this weekend. <clears throat> it's, uh, some of it went really well, some of it didn't. The good news is that we did get a stream out for a while, that it was audio, video, including some kind of not quite right green screen, and uh, took calls over Skype. Uh, we have, this was literally stuff that we threw together over the course of a couple days with a lot of parts that we had around laying around. The really good news is the plan moving forward, and that is that we had a couple of experts who were at the studio yesterday. One of them is putting together a plan to replace certain equipment, expand certain equipment, so that our studio and our building is capable of a production value equivalent to or better than the public access TV studio that we've been using for the show. Now, that's not going to happen right away, but it should happen fairly quickly um, now that we're actually able to use the building and moving forward. We're going to keep using the public access studio, and we're going to reserve our studio for special occasions um, until we're happy with the way our studio is and at that point we decide okay we're done with public access and we're just going to do it from our building all that's coming I don't know how quickly uh, on Sunday's show I was talking about uh, the SCA uh, having set uh, Justin Vakula as one of the Pennsylvania State Directors for SCA Pennsylvania, and that was, <coughs> and that some people were objecting to this, and that I understand wh why, but that I'm going to continue supporting the SCA. And the process, the process of talking about this, I talked about a tweet that Justin had retweeted that was Carla Border answering somebody asking this ridiculous question of how many people were raped at your convention. And what I said was that this is, was an absurd way to make a point and that it demonstrates that you don't really understand the point. And Carla thought that I was talking about her, saying she didn't understand the point. That was not what I was saying. Uh, I apologize if I didn't say it clearly. We were doing live TV and there was a lot of stuff going on. And it was kind of difficult to, to follow that backwards trend from Justin retweeting her to retweeting this. My point was that the original post was an absurd way to make a point and demonstrated that they didn't really understand the point. And that caused a problem, too, by using point twice. Uh, what I should have said was they really didn't understand the issue or that they were strawmanning the subject as it had been raised by other people. Um, I've already talked about harassment stuff, etc., um, my apologies if, if Carla was confused. She also, though, added this, you know, no problems without a harassment policy, which, you know, certainly we can discuss. But then in a tweet this morning, she was like, here's what Matt wouldn't let me explain. Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. You were clearly able to explain it on your blog and on Twitter. I don't have any kind of control that it was a live TV. It wasn't anything planned. Um... I don't plan out what's what, what's going to be talked about on the show, and I'm happy to talk to you about it after the fact or in private. So I don't I don't know where this. Uh, here's what Matt wouldn't let me explain. I, I don't I don't get that part of it. But I figured I'd post this because this little miscommunication is how bigger miscommunications happen. And I also want to make the point because there seems to be still lots of confusion on this that uh, nobody has managed to corner the market on reasonableness. There are people on both sides of any issue, including the various issues surrounding Atheism Plus, etc., who engage in unfair criticisms and vilification of the opposition. Um, I'm not going to get in. I've got to get back to work, so I'm not going to get into trolling and all this other stuff. But I will say that my position is based on the issue and the, and the issues and not the people representing the issues. And so, 
people are like, oh, you haven't, why haven't you commented on this? Why haven't you commented on this? Maybe it's because I haven't seen it. Because some of the recommendations were, oh, go set up a fake account and go join this forum. I don't have time for internet forum discussions. I don't even look at the one that I run at Iron Chariots. Haven't looked at it in months or years, uh, the forum part of it. And haven't really been that involved in Iron Chariots. I don't think people understand just how, you know, I don't have any time to do that stuff. And there's so many forums in so many places that it's just not really worth it. So if I ask, you know, if you want to make your point, send me some links and evidence and whatever else. But at the end of the day, I'm about what the issue is, and here's my position on the issue. There are people who've watched, for example, the videos that I did on Atheism Plus, who said, well, if that's what Atheism Plus really was, I'd be okay with it. But Matt's just wrong. That's not what it is. Uh, I don't know how anybody could determine that I was wrong in this fledgling thing that hasn't been well defined and hasn't been well rolled out but uh, I'm telling you what my position is and what I'm supporting and how I view it as Atheism Plus and if your view is that Atheism Plus is people who think uh, that uh, all men are evil and rapists uh, I don't know anybody like that I certainly don't support anything like that it's absurd for me to even have to respond to that because I've said absolutely nothing like that. It's bad enough that I've had to clarify people wanting to misrepresent what I've said about the nature of evidence and harassment claims. But on this issue, on the TV show, speaking quickly and trying to backtrack this, I wasn't very clear, uh, and it caused some confusion. I apologize for that. I was not implying that at the time that Carla didn't understand the issues. The rest of this, I don't know what you're talking about.